Welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how to screen mirror your Redmi 14C to any smart TV. So first things first, ensure that both your phone and your TV are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So ensure that all the devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So mine is connected to the tender gaming room as the same as my TV is connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And then all you have to do is go to settings on your Redmi 14C. And then within the settings, scroll down and select more connectivity options. And then all you have to do is scroll down and find the cast option. So here it is, cast, so tap on it. And then the next step is simply tap on the toggle switch icon next to the cast option, tap on it. And then if it's your first time, you have to allow any permissions that might appear. So tap on agree. And then tap on allow. And there you go. Now your phone will start scanning for any nearby devices. So give it a few seconds. Now, as you can see, my TV has been discovered, the 55 inch QLED, which is this TV. So all I have to do is simply tap on it. And then from here, you should see a notification appear on your TV. You must grant permissions for your device to connect to the TV. So all you have to do is simply select allow. And then your Redmi 14C will try to connect to your smart TV. So give it a few seconds for that to happen. So at times it might not work, so you have to try that again. So let's just try it again. And there you go. You can see now your device has been screen mirrored to your smart TV. Now you can also increase the size of this screen mirror. So all you have to do is grab your remote and select it. And then from the options that appear at the bottom, there's maximum, screen size, picture in picture or full screen. So choose the one that you prefer. So let's say maximize, select that. And then now you can see your entire screen or your entire phone on your smart TV. So that's basically it on how to screen mirror your Redmi 14C on the smart TV. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. And if you found this video useful, consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel.